Okay, today I'm going to be talking about a very rare and unusual accessory from the 1950s called the self-winding steering wheel clock. Uh, steering wheel clocks weren't new in the 50s, but this is the first time they actually went with a self-winding mechanism. As you steered the car, the uh, mechanism would turn around and it would wind the uh, watch for you. This particular unit is uh, one of the Chrysler product versions, a DeSotomatic, it was, uh, came out in 1954. Uh, this clock fits from 1954 through 1956, depending on the mounting bezel. This particular one is a 1955-56 mounting bezel. Uh, frequently the clocks will turn up without the mounting bezels. The mounting bezels are specific to the application so you need to make sure they have the mounting bezels or you're going to have to manufacture one and it ain't going to be easy. Um, this particular unit is a 15 joule Benrus movement. It is very accurate especially in comparison to the uh, uh, mechanisms that were used on the dash clocks. The dash clocks of course being over on the other side of the dash generally uh, they were $12 to $15. These are $50. This uh, accounts for their rarity today uh, that uh, they weren't purchased by very many people. They were accurate indeed, but as you steered the wheel, it was a little more difficult to tell exactly what time it was, and at night it was not illuminated. There's no electrical connections whatsoever to this clock. Uh, to set this clock, you depress the button at the 11 o'clock position, rotate the bezel, and that changes your time. Also, on the face of the bezel, you can use that to to wind the clock by turning it and there is a red line on the face that allows you to tell uh, the elapsed time of driving. Uh, second hound down at the bottom and the fast slow uh, changes over here on the side on these first series Benrus units. Uh, now this particular one's a DeSotomatic, carries part number 1689057. Uh, they also made a Chrysler Matic 1689, uh, excuse me, 1689112. Uh, the Mopar Matic was the first one out, part number 1571366. They also had a, a Plymouth Matic that I've had a number of, and uh, they supposedly made a Dodge Matic. I've never seen one, and if they did, it would only fit 1953 and 54 because in 55 they changed changed the style of the horn uh, rings on the Dodges and it no longer had a removable center section. Uh, now after 1956, Benrus still supplied the movement uh, for Chrysler Corporation, but they changed it. And I call this the second series Benrus. Uh, movement. You frequently see them turn up on eBay in this condition. They're in a little cardboard box including this little shipping tin inside and then the movement itself of course inside the shipping tin. Uh, this is only a shipping tin. Frequently on eBay people will tell you that that is the mount. That is not the mount. Shipping only. In this you can see how it works as the steering wheel is turned. The mechanism goes back and forth and winds by the pendulum movement. Okay. I highly recommend if you have one of these and you ship it, take the screw out, remove the pendulum, ship it separately because uh, frequently those will get broken off. Uh, this one here, as you can see, the face no longer rotates. The fast slow setting is in the middle of the six and to set the time you depress the button in the center and turn which sets your time for you. Uh, you've lost all your series name plates on there as far as Chrysler Matic, DeSoto Matic, uh, Plymouth Matic and so forth it only says Benrus. Uh, this movement was also used in some uh, VWs. Uh, the first series movement is a DK14 this is an FA14. Second movement also you only use seven joules in comparison to the earlier one that used 15 joules. Uh, this particular one is the 1957-58 Plymouth mount in the steering wheel. Uh, they are very easy to install on all of them. Just turn your center section, quarter turn, and out she pops. Put it in, reverse the direction, place it in there, turn, snaps right into place. As you drive the car, it winds up. You set the time, as long as you drive it on a regular basis, it keeps wound and keeps very good time for you. Uh, the Chrysler DeSoto for 57.58 was the other one that was available. The part number for the Plymouth is uh, 1819-80810 uh, and the part number for the Chrysler DeSoto version is 1819-809. I'll add some pictures at the end of this video showing uh, more of what they look like. Uh, the bezels again for these are very difficult to find. I reproduced the Plymouth one and there is another gentleman that makes the uh, Chrysler DeSoto style one in aluminum. Uh, the original would have been pop metal and chrome plated but they're damned hard to find and be very difficult to reproduce. This is about as close as you can get. So if you have a movement, you can get these and put your original star or your uh, three-point 
uh, connecting part on there and you're good to go. Now, the first steering wheel clock that came out, uh, self-winding steering wheel clock, was done by Mar, M-A-A-R, another Swiss uh, clock manufacturer. Uh, it is a little bit different in that not only did it wind by the movement of the wheel back and forth as you accelerate and brake it, uh, that also uh, wound the movement. As you can see through the windows as the winder goes, I don't have a full clock assembly, just the winder here, but you can see the pendulum in there that would work to wind the uh, uh, mechanism. Now on the Oldsmobile versions in 51 52, the clock on the dash would be replaced by a compass and this would go in the steering wheel, only not dead center, slightly below center on the steering wheel and a special steering wheel with a special horn ring and even a special turn signal arm. So as the wheel turned, the back of this didn't hit your turn signal arm and change the uh, turn on the turn signal for you. Uh, those again are very difficult to find. The MAR made them specifically for Oldsmobile. They also made them in an aftermarket unit, sometimes with a banjo mount for like a banjo steering wheel. And they also put them out with a Chevy uh, nameplate on them. I've seen them done that way. Uh, those are your basic steering wheel clocks. I'll add some pictures after the video. Give you a little bit more information. You can go to my website, roadkillontheweb.com.